it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? This is Craft Farms here and welcome to a mod showcase type thing, I guess. Uh, just kind of showing it, showing off the Case 4540 Titan um, spreader because I had a couple of people ask me about it. Uh, so the first things that we're going to do is we're going to get a truck and a fertilizer trailer. Uh, we're going to go with this FLD here. Uh, we need that. And then auger wagons is where the other piece is. So we'll go ahead and get these things out of the way. I do like the sounds on this truck. I haven't really played a whole lot with sound on while using this truck. I haven't really used this truck much in general, so... Does it have... Uh, no, it does not have engine brake. Or Jake brake. Exhaust brake. I think it's called a number of things. Oh. Okay, so we'll get that filling up. Uh, I have an F-250 here at the dealership. Okay, fertilizer spreaders, here it is. Um, so, Case 4540 Titan spreader. Cost $256,400 to buy. Uh, that's pretty much a realistic price. Uh, 410 horsepower, that is the actual amount of horsepower that these things have. I did go and research that. Uh, 8,126 liter capacity. That's the actual capacity. Uh, working with is 15 meters. Not sure if that's completely what it is, but that's what I set it as. Um, $157 a day. Rent is $854. Uh, usage. The Case 4540 Titan Spreader is a must-have for all your large-scale farming operations. It will make quick work of even the largest of your fields. So we'll go ahead and buy that. So here it is. Um, it does not have any of the cylinders on it because I've not figured out how to get them to work yet. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I just don't have them on here. Uh, it's got the cube map from FS17 on it. Uh, because I've just taken a liking to that cube map. Um, has full working dirt on it. I wanted to add a tarp to it, but I could not get it working for whatever reason. So, yeah, um, there was one release for 17 that somebody did, uh, that they did, you know, like, they did a donation thing for their, um, for the people affected by fires in Kansas and other places, and they had the, uh, kind of GPS system on theirs, so I just put that on this one, too, because I kind of figured it kind of need that. I kind of messed up on the interior here, um, and with the hands, I still need to adjust those. This was my first time doing these hands, so I kind of messed them up a little bit, but um, I need to go back and adjust them yet. Steering wheel does not turn, it doesn't have any animation in there. We'll fire it up. Uh, it's using the sounds from the Rogue Gator spreaders. Has diff locks, um, unfolds nicely. Had some help with the uh, unfolding of these because uh, they were kind of a mess for me to figure out, anyways. Uh, has full working dirt on it as well. You can see here's the interior. Looks really nice. Uh, overall, super awesome spreader. Hazards work. Signal lights work. Brake lights. We got running lights. All of that. We don't have any beacons on the uh, spreader here. 
Um, we're gonna go to this field here. We're gonna unfold. We're gonna go like that. I do need to make some adjustments to the working with or to the you know the nodes for this thing as well um, just because I kind of need to adjust their positioning a little bit but anyway we're going to take this up and we're going to go ahead and refill that uh, spreader here get this unfolded Uh, has dynamic fill planes on it as you can see <clears throat> can spread going 18 uh, really the only thing I need to do is just need to move this one out just a hair um, the other one I think is fine maybe yeah it just needs to kind of be shifted that way a little bit but works great Must have messed up something on my tire there. It has a nice turning radius as well. Um, this won't be released because it's a polygonish model and his models are copyrighted. And so you can't release copyrighted material. And besides I don't release anymore anyways. Um, I have stopped that. So... Well, let's work until it gets dirty here, and then you guys can see it uh, dirty. It should start getting dirty pretty soon. why it's not uh, the particles are basically spray particles just a fertilizer texture um, I couldn't figure out how the heck to set these up and so I asked a couple of people and then uh, finally got it figured out they just said set it up to have spray particles just change it to fertilizer I was like okay that works didn't even think of that myself so I don't know why this thing is not getting dirty normally it's starting to get dirty already Oh, I can see some dirt on the tire there. So we're making progress. <clears throat> I spread all of field 16, and by the time I was done, it was completely dirty, so... I even adjusted the uh, multiplier up a little bit in this. So it should go faster than that, but I don't know why it's not. There's a bit of dirt on the tires here. Just using the universal spec map again. That's kind of my go-to spec map now. It's 
that's pretty much done I do want to mess with the tarp a little more because I would like to get a tarp on this thing because um, I'm pretty sure the real life ones have a tarp on them uh, I'm not a hundred percent positive but I'm quite sure that they do and I guess if they don't I'm still gonna add one to mine just because I want one so yeah, I just what I couldn't figure out is how to get it to work I compared you know a bunch of trailers and stuff could not figure it out so maybe I'll have to look at like some trucks or something something that is a self-propelled vehicle uh, as well that you know has a working tarp that maybe that'll have it I don't know I'll have to figure it out so its usage is pretty fair I mean it doesn't doesn't use a whole lot um, I would like to s mess around with it a little bit more and see if I can set it so that like the working width you know like from the edge of the wing to the edge of the wing is one and then from you know these is one and there is one so like instead of being one solid line all the way across it kind of goes across up here but then stops you know in a certain spot um, you know kind of like it would in real life uh, I think that'd be pretty neat to set it up that way I'm not sure if that's 100% possible or not but I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna find out uh, or do some research and find out or however I figure it out but I'm gonna figure it out somehow I think it is fully dirty um, the interior does get dirty because of the way that I kind of messed it up a little bit but it's good enough for me I don't really want to go back and redo it so I was not thinking when I did it and yeah I, I was just kind of wanting to get it done and get it going because it I had been putzing around with it for quite a while trying to figure out stuff so so we'll go ahead and go over here and wash this thing get it looking shiny again and then uh, we'll be all set should be a pressure washer over here somewhere and there's not uh, do I own a pressure washer no I do not okay we are going to buy a pressure washer put it right there <laughs> turn on my light flashlight so it washes nice and fast uh, yeah so has a horn so yeah, that is the 4540 Titan Spreader. I hope to be using this in future videos fairly soon uh, on the Dakota Plains series, being able to just rent it um, maybe the next season. It would definitely be nice. Make quick work of fertilizing. But uh, yeah, so that is the 4540 Titan Spreader, you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of tutorial videos here pretty soon on polygonish models, um, or on a polygonish model, so be sure to look out for those, uh, those will probably be out maybe over the weekend or something like that, um, but, yeah, so, um, well, I guess you're seeing these on Thursday. I kind of messed this week up, but yeah, there will be those videos out sometime. So yeah, thanks for watching you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, be sure to check out down below in the description for my uh, PC specs as well as my upload schedule. 
and links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.